Included with this video series is a solution called Complex Calculations, which retails for $29.95. You get it for free. There's a password that's available. You'll see inside the actual videos because this one's free. I don't provide it here, but you'll get that password so you can actually get into it and not get any warnings that you need to buy it and stuff. And you can, in fact, get the full access password so you can go into layout mode and see how this is made. In fact, one of the videos will go over some of the more crucial calculation aspects of how this works. So that might be pretty cool for you to learn uh, how to create a solution like this when you see what it can do. So I'm going to walk you through this solution so you better understand how it can help you program FileMaker better. So when you open it up, the first thing you do is you get a list of functions from A to Z, right? We've got char, code, exact. Keep scrolling down, you'll see each section all the way down to the bottom. There's the Japanese ones, the summary. Everything's in here. You can, of course, do a search if you want. Come in here and we'll type in left. Hit continue. And let's take a look at the left function. We'll click on it. It'll open up into a definition of it. You'll get the area where it's at, where it originated, the result type. Tons of examples. Depends on the function. Some aren't as useful as others. And related functions. Of course, you want to know that left, middle, and right are related, right? So you have that so you can go directly there if you want, or you can go into one of the examples and open it up. In fact, you just come in here, click on it, and you'll see there's that formula. In fact, you can actually come in here and change the data. When you do that, you should see we get a different acronym down here. So if I put that, so if you didn't see it, there we go. And you'll see we get that ACI back. That's because this is actually using the evaluate function to take this code. So you actually can change this code if you want as well. We could put in a value here, and it would formulate it right down here. So you can use this kind of like you would with the data viewer. It will allow you to show your results right there. The difference here is you can add in fields and things like that very easily that you can't do with the data viewer, and I think it's a little bit better, but it's up to you. Not only that, when you add it, it stays in here, so you can keep your examples in here and look at them at any time and then change them or copy and paste them so it's a repository or a knowledge base. So that's pretty cool. You can actually also go directly over to the examples. You can come right over here and search the examples, look at whatever one's there. You can uh, scroll through them, see what examples there are. Here's one right here. You can come in and take a look at it and do exactly the same things you did before. So it's really the same thing. So that's why it opens up back in the functions because you can really do all that functionality from this one screen. But if you want to go straight to the examples and search the examples, that's probably where you want to be. So that's about all I want to say about it. It's just a repository of calculations that I've found very useful over the years. You can use them, you can copy and paste them, you can modify them, you can add your own in here. There's a lot of potential for this being a great repository or knowledge base for your programming life.